Hello and welcome back. This is Trisha Jakyani and in this tutorial I will take you through the most talked about function in the recent times in the Excel world and that is the XLOOKUP function. XLOOKUP is very useful function added to Excel and it can make complex lookups in Excel easy and also replaces the multiple lookup and referencing functions like VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, INDEX MATCH, REVERSE VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP with APPROXIMATE MATCH. Along with the lookup and referencing function, it also replaces the if error and is error function. Please ensure the if error and is error, it is only replaced if you are trying to use it with the VLOOKUP function. Also, please be mindful, if you are trying to use the XLOOKUP function, it is not available in 2019 or the older version, but is only available if you have Office 365 version available on your system. So let's begin and see how your XLOOKUP function replaces all the other important functions. Let's look at my example sheet where I have the names of the students who have uh, who have been placed in the companies through placement uh, placements, and now I need the attentive date of joining and the commission receipt mentioned in these two cells. I do not have the tentative date of joining and commission received in this data, but I need to pick it from the base database. Now, why you can see the commission uh, tentative date of joining here? Because I have already done a VLOOKUP, a simple VLOOKUP, just to show you how it looks. So, the first time when I did, or in my previous video when I showed you the same example, I did a simple VLOOKUP where I tried to identify the tentative date of joining by using the name of the student. If you look at this table, it uses the table array from the base data and the column index number is 7 because the, in the base data starting with the name this column index number is 7 where the tentative date of joining is written. Moving back, if you look at this data, if I want to replace the VLOOKUP and I will you have to use the XLOOKUP function here where I'll start with is equal to x lookup you will see that i get all the syntax already highlighted that and the first thing that it is asking me for is the lookup function lookup value my lookup value is the vedika mehta which was the same in my vlookup function as well comma now i'm asked to enter the lookup array now lookup array in is in the base data however just like the vlookup function where we say the table array we pick up the whole table but here Excel says lookup array. So we are just going to give one column, which is our lookup array. Our lookup array is the first column, which is where the name is. So I pick up the whole name list and I go back in the formula bar, put a comma. Next is the return array. Now, what is a return array? A return array is the column from where I want the Excel to give me the result. In my case, my return array is tentative date of joining. So I'm going to select the whole list. I have done this. Now you can see, even if I don't give the rest of the information, that's okay because they are all optional. Close the bracket, enter, you get the result here. I can drag the formula down to get the result for rest of them. Now, if you can, if you notice in this list, you can see some NA error being mentioned here. Why is this NA error coming here? Which we already know that there is no data available in the base data and that's the reason we are getting the NA error here. So how did we solve the problem when we were trying to use it with the VLOOKUP function. We solved it by using the if error function along with the VLOOKUP. In XLOOKUP, your if error is already inbuilt. Let's see how. If I look at this XLOOKUP function where we had given the last written array as tentative data of joining, post that if you see, if I put a comma, the next option is if not found. So it is saying that if this data is not found, what do you want the Excel to respond. Let's say I want the Excel to say zero or let's say I want Excel to say data not available. Once I do that, close the bracket, enter. Now if I drag this formula down, all the NAs will turn to data not available. Now just be very, very careful when I say it is replacing if error. It is only replacing when it comes to using the XLOOKUP function. Also, it only replaces the NA error. When I say NA error, that means if the data is not found in the VLOOKUP result, only then this NA error can be replaced with whatever data that you're looking for. Now, this gives you the result for if error and a simple VLOOKUP. Now, I also mentioned that it replaces the HLOOKUP function. How does it replace an HLOOKUP function? Let's look at this. In our previous example, again, we had done an HLOOKUP where 
we had the database in the horizontal method here also i have the same data where i'm going to use the x lookup here instead of using the v lookup my lookup value is going to be the names of the students comma i just have to give the lookup array lookup array is going to be my student name which is the first row i select that and i'll freeze it why freeze it so that even if i drag it down it doesn't give me any trouble or even drag it right it stays as it is the the array stays as it is comma return array where do i want the result from i want the result from english row so i'm going to pick up the row english the whole row freeze it and close the bracket enter here i get the result 71 is that correct let's see simon with english 71 let's change the name from simon to some other name go comes to 40 which is correct we can also drag the date the, the formula on to the right however of course there is going to be a little trouble because when we were dragging we didn't freeze the a9 so it is changing to b9 so i'm going to freeze a here so that when i drag to the right your a doesn't become b a is your name of the student so when i drag it to the right this is what i get why do i get the same because my call uh, my lookup array or my sorry return array is going to be different this time and i run the return array from the science row freeze it enter and your if you see dug in science as score 71 so this is how your x lookup also replaces the h lookup function congratulations on completing the business dashboard using excel course ready to elevate your career join our post graduate certificate in data science and ai and gain exclusive benefits like a complimentary python programming boot camp seven plus case studies dedicated student support and access to our job opportunities portal don't miss out on this chance to transform your career invest in yourself today and join our program click on the link in the description to enroll now and take the next step in your career journey moving a little ahead and let's see how does it replace your index match function index and match why do we use this because we are telling excel that look in the rows and in the column so when i say in the rows and the column that means i'm looking for this data as well as i'm looking for this data so wherever it is find found i need that result to be thrown here what i'm going to do is instead of using the uh, index match i'll use the x lookup the lookup value is going to be my your number or you are number or the id that you want to mention comma lookup array where am i looking for in the you are number which is this f4 comma return array what do i want i want the name to be returned so i'm going to pick up the name from here and then close the bracket and enter so this was simple x lookup that i have performed but what will happen if i drag it down if i try to drag it down it is going to be give me an error for one reason definitely that i have not freeze the tenier c10 which i have this so let's try and freeze the c10 and see if that works so if i freeze c10 does it still work as it giving me the right answer no it is not because i am looking for city here i am looking for postal code but it is still giving me the name which is not correct so what is it that i need to do then i want excel to automatically find out the return value or the return array how will it how, how will excel find the return array in that case i will do the x lookup again because i will tell x lookup to find the name in this particular area once it finds that it will automatically look for the result depending on what is there in this cell so i'm going to in the return array where i have where i'm starting with the return array i'll do an x lookup again in this case I, my lookup value is going to be name comma my lookup array is going to be the first row because that is where i can find the array return array where do i want the return to be picked from or where do i want this to come from so return can be anywhere either of these it can be name it can be city it can be postal code it can be address so i'll take the return array as the full array this once i have done this i can freeze this i can freeze this as well and then close the bracket for one first sorry second x lookup and then close the bracket for first x lookup done this now let's try and drag it if i drag this formula down you will see that it automatically picks up the city and the postal code as well which is the correct one Let's try and change the UR code from here. Does it change two, three, four, five, six, seven? Where is this? Ah, uh, this one. Harry Farm City is Longreach. 
and postal code is 3456 so this is correct giving you a correct result so again like i said it is replacing the index match as well now let's see how does it replace your reverse wheel lookup if you look at this data you can easily see that your name is given in the third column while the other two things which is your region and the sales is given on the left of the name what we need to find is the sales of the name which is given in a17 a simple we look up will not work here i'll have to use a reverse we look up which is we look up with choose function or even index match can work but if you had an x look up function you can replace or leave everything else and just use the x look up function where you say look up value is going to be the name comma what is that i am looking for the look up array is going to be my name column comma my return array is going to be my sales column so i'm going to pick up the sales column and close the bracket here i go you can see that it has returned the value for juice let's change the name here and see if it gives the correct result let's put sam it gives the correct result so it has replaced your reverse v lookup function as well now let's move on to see how x lookup can be useful to replace the v lookup the proximate match function so here i have the scores of the students given to me and i need to identify their grades the grades are given on the right hand side where if the score is anywhere from 0 to 50 the grade is going to be a from 51 to 63 it is e 64 to 72 is d and so on and so forth which is given to me now i will start with using their x lookup function for this particular data in a v lookup i would have used them approximate match and that is all that i have to do but here i am going to use the x lookup lookup value this time is going to be the score because that is what i am looking for in this data comma the lookup array is going to be the score from this data f4 to freeze it comma return array the return is from the grade so i'll pick up grade from this f4 to freeze it now what if it is not found i don't want to give anything there if i want to skip this i can just leave that as it is blank and put another comma next to it so one comma to go to that particular uh, argument second comma to go to the next argument so i'm not going to put anything in the previous argument next is either i want an exact match or exact match or next smaller item exact match or next larger item now what do i want is i have shown my data in the reverse order but i'm saying less than 50 is going to be 50 or less than 50 is going to be s so in that case i am going to pick up exact or the next larger number and then close the bracket enter your i guess so anything which is 85 to 94 is going to be b now if i drag it down you can see that the results for all of them are correctly mentioned here like let's check for judith she is at 77 she should be c that is correct so this is how you can perform the x lookup to replace all the important functions that you have seen hope you enjoyed this example and looking forward to using this function soon thank you for watching and keep watching for more of such informative videos thank you